everyone. Welcome to an online poetry workshop brought to you by 826LA. My name is Gabby Vasquez. I am a community organizer, born and raised here in the city of Los Angeles. Um, today I am volunteering to lead this poetry workshop using a method that I learned in a poetry class while I was earning my degree in creative writing at UC Riverside. I think that you will really enjoy your poem and also this method. So the um, method that I'm explaining to you is actually called found poetry and found poetry is a form of writing poems where you the author includes different words found on random objects throughout your home so to help you picture this let's imagine that you are on a scavenger hunt and you're looking for words our goal for this workshop is to look for six words um, you can find interesting words long words short words Whatever you find, think about it, you can write it down, and we'll go into more detail about which ones you should pick a bit later. But also, um, just keep in mind that where, where you're looking for your words could be anywhere in your home or in your bedroom. It can be books that you have lying around or magazines. Um, it can be the title of a show that you really like, might have a fun word in it. Um, it can be your parents' grocery list. Uh, really, it can be anything that you find, and um, we will again go into more detail about which kind of words will benefit your poem best, um, but before we do that, let's go over the materials that you will need for this workshop. So you will need two blank sheets of paper, or alternatively, the template that is provided with this, with this video. Um, you will also need one pencil, one black pen, and one colorful pen of your choice such as a red pen or a green pen, blue pen, really whatever you have on hand. And the reason for that would be that we are going to write our found words in this different color so that they pop out. Okay, so now it's time to get started with our first step. Okay, so we are now ready for step one. Uh, step one is all about finding the right words. Before you pick words, let's talk about finding um, the type that would be most beneficial to your poem. So um, descriptive words like adjectives, so that would be words like hungry or um, happy. Those are great words because they describe something. Um, another example would be colors such as gold or black. They literally help paint a more vivid picture for your poem. Um, another thing to consider is words that establish a location. So places like a theater or a museum, now they ground your poem in a place. Um, maybe you have a postcard that somebody sent you from somewhere. Um, maybe use that because now all of a sudden what you get to do with that postcard is set the location of your poem somewhere else in the world. So that's just to give you an example that location can also help ground your poem somewhere. Um, the other thing that I would help, uh, that I would ask you to consider is um, who is the voice of your poem. So it might not necessarily be you, the author, who is the voice of this poem. You can really um, make it anybody. So for example, when I tried this out earlier, I ended up taking on the voice of an older gentleman. And it just happened to benefit my poem when I um, wrote it in that voice. So that's just to give you an example of how you can play around with your poem. Um, let's not forget we're looking for six words. They can be found on actual objects like a uh, mug, like a coffee mug for example, or um, words that you find all around you. Okay, And so um, I do want to take a moment and explain poetry a bit more to you. Um, poems are most often a piece of writing meant to be read out loud. Poems tend to express emotion, some um, follow patterns, some are lyrical, meaning that their lines rhyme. Um, I do want to ask you if you have time to do a side uh, analysis. <laughs> and what I'm imagining uh, for you is to look up your favorite song, to look up the lyrics of your favorite song. and. Um, view it in the lens of it being a poem because a lot of the times these artists that we listen to are excellent poets and they're also doing what we're doing right now which is looking for fun and interesting words um, to help paint a picture for us 
right? So if you look at it like a poem, um, you'll get to see more of this uh, line rhyming where it's it will go every other line to create rhythm and rhyme to the poem or the song. Okay, so one thing I do want to stress though is that in this found poetry workshop, we are not stressing on uh, making our poem rhyme. In fact, we are uh, focusing on completely different things, which is expressing emotion and creating a vivid moment in your in your poem. Okay, so what we do want to focus on are two things. We want to focus on tempo and uh, line breaks. So tempo is the overall rhythm of your poem and how it sounds when you read it out loud. Our goal is to make a poem sound really nice when we read it out loud. Okay, um, line breaks are also really wonderful tools because they help our poem, uh, they help add emphasis to our poem. So certain lines might end up being just one word. So we see a gap. Um, it doesn't look like an essay, right? An essay is just line after line after line. Not our poems, though. Our poems are going to have line breaks. Um, you can even play with where the placement of a word goes. I've read poems where um, only a few words in like the third line are all of a sudden towards the right. Okay, so it creates a almost a jarring effect when you read it because now you're literally moving this way and that way to read it. So I would encourage you to play with line breaking. Um, don't uh, be scared about making just one word be one line. Um, I think that's actually really powerful. And it's powerful when you read it out loud too. Okay, so um, that's it for step one. Let's move on to step two. Okay, so now we're ready for step two. In step two, I wanna ask you to list out all of your words. So what you can either do is on your blank sheet of paper, I would recommend use your left corner and write out all of your words. Um, if you're using the template, there is a box dedicated to your six words and you can fill them in right there. So um, the next thing that I think you should do is really look at these words that you picked and see if they relate to one another. Right? It, do they connect? And what other words are you going to end up using in your poem to paint this picture, right? And to make this piece um, fun and interesting and awesome to read out loud. So yeah, again, um, take a minute, look at the words you picked, and then now that you you've become a little more familiar with them, um, now's the time to again um, with your pencil start the rough draft. So. Um, don't forget, it has to be at least six lines. Um, feel free to move things around and um, move your lines around if that ends up helping you um, because this is the rough draft, so this is the time to do that. Okay, so once you're done with that, we're moving on to step three. Okay. We made it to step three. So at this point, you have your rough draft. All six words are included inside of it. You wrote it in pencil. And um, you may or may not have played with line breaking. I hope you did, but if you didn't, that was your rough draft. Now we can really focus on all of those things in the final draft. So for our final draft, I now recommend you switch to the pens. So you'll use the black pen for all the words that are not your found poem. And you'll use the colorful pen, such as red, and that's what you will write the found words in. And it's really going to pop that way. You can also consider maybe if you came up with a title, you can draw that out really cool um, with the colors that you chose. Another thing that you can do, um, there are poets out there that like to use imagery, um, such as drawings, to accompany their poems. And since you're going to have a whole blank sheet of paper, you know, you can center your poem and maybe draw around it um, or whatever you end up feeling like doing. So if you want to draw out, your title or you want to write the title a cool way at a at um any type of drawing I, I would really recommend that right now because this is something that ideally you can you can um, hang up somewhere and um, it's gonna attract people to read it right so let me reemphasize we are now moving on to our final draft we're switching to writing in pen uh, the found words should be written in a different color pen so that they stand out and um, this is all going to be done on a brand new blank sheet of paper. Okay, so now that we're done with step th uh, step three, let's move on. 
Congratulations for making it to step four. This is the easiest step of all because you are done with your poem. You wrote it out in black pen and a colorful pen. Maybe you drew something alongside of it or you drew out your title. So now is the time for you to share your poem. So if you have a way of um, maybe taking a picture of it and sending it or scanning it or maybe even typing it out, um, now A26 really wants to see your poems and see what you were able to do. So um, I just want to thank you for trekking along with me in this journey of a virtual poetry workshop. And I really do hope that you followed along and wrote a poem because I would love to see it. Uh, so again, thank you so much. Um, and I really enjoyed this. All right.